y'all so today we are gonna be addressing the myths of living in Ghana as you have heard a lot of things about how Ghana weather is hot um, how tree is the only spoken language in Ghana and stuff like that so we're gonna be addressing all of the myths that I you and somebody else have been hearing out there about Ghana so if you're interested keep watching now let's jump right into the video okay so the first myth I am going to talk about is Ghana is hot technically Ghana is a hot country but in as much as people would say oh Ghana is hot like you know that type of hot hot they talk about well that's not the case because I've actually had a couple of people ask me like can you wear a jacket in Ghana because I heard the weather is hot you have to wear like sleeveless top it's always like summer and stuff like that in Ghana and stuff but the truth is yes it's almost like summer but not all the time because we have a balanced weather like there is time for the rain and then there is time for the sun and I bet you like gonna have more rain than certain countries so like and yes you can wear jackets even if it's hot I'm saying this from a personal experience because child I am someone who wear jacket a lot be it under the sun or when it's raining or whatever I do wear jacket almost all the time so technically yes you can wear jacket in Ghana, you can wear puffy jacket in Ghana. Like I have also seen people in my comment section talking about how, where am I gonna wear a certain type of jacket because it's really hot in Ghana. Like that's a myth you people need to stop listening to. Ghana is hot, yeah, it is hot, but it is not hell, okay? It is hot, people are living here. If you don't know how to balance yourself when it comes to the weather, then you're gonna be affected. Or if you're someone who's used to being in the cold or something, then you're gonna get affected. But if you're someone like me who always need warmth or something like that, then cool. And as, apart from that, Ghana, is, Ghana weather is balanced. You have Hamita, you have rainy season, and then you have dry season. So technically for any West African country, Ghana weather is balanced. Okay, so the next myth we're going to be addressing is the fact that people keep saying if you move to Ghana, you're going to speak tree. Well, that's not true because English is also like a major language here. So if you don't know how to speak tree, it doesn't matter. Like, just come. People speak English. Maybe the only people you're going to find problems with are like people from the local ends like when I talk about the local ends like in the rural area and stuff like that people who come from the rural area and go to the market and stuff you might find a little bit of difficulty communicating with them but there is always someone in the market who can translate to them like they might have a friend sitting next to them or something like that they will translate to you but aside from that I don't know anywhere else that you go people speak tree to you and you let them know that oh you are not um, a Ghanaian you speak English only they're not gonna speak English to you I guarantee you I know no other place like that the only place I know of is the local market but other than that every single place in as much as Ghanaian love to speak tree they will speak English to you once you make it known to them that you don't speak tree because look at me I have been staying here for up to four years now I still don't know how to speak tree so how do you think I've been surviving how do you think I've been thriving to survive in someone else's country with only English because sometimes even when I'm with Tesla drivers and stuff and they start to speak tree I sometimes pretend like I do know how to speak tree and sometimes I do understand what they're saying because I've been interacting with Ghanaians but like I don't make it known to them that I don't speak tree but then like even if you don't speak tree or you find it difficult you just tell them like you don't speak tree and bam they start to speak English even if they don't know how to speak English they're gonna try their possible best to sound more English like more English like for you to understand they're gonna sound more English like 
for you to understand even if they don't speak English or even if they are not good with English they're gonna try their possible best to make you understand what they're trying to say to you and yeah so tree is not the only local language here also they also speak Ga, Fati, speak uh, Ewe like there are a bunch of languages here that people speak so it's not only tree so just don't believe in that myth because I've seen on Reddit, I've seen on the internet where people are complaining and saying they're about to move to Ghana and stuff like that and they're afraid because people keep telling them um, the only language they speak in Ghana is tree, English is not their first language and they don't know how they're going to survive and stuff like that. So, well, that's not true, sweetheart. That's not true. So that is that. There are a bunch of other languages, but these people try as hard as possible to speak English, even if they can't speak English, just for the benefit of a foreigner. Another myth we're gonna address is living in Ghana is expensive. Now, I won't say it's not expensive to live in Accra, especially maybe if you move to other parts of the country like maybe Kumasi, Takrade or um, Cape Coast or Ho, whichever place living in Accra might be expensive but if you don't know how to live within your means then yes sweetie it's gonna be more than expensive for you so know if you know how to budget if you know what you're here for, if you know that, okay, you're not in a competition with anyone, you don't have to go to any fancy restaurant or anything like that, then no, living in Ghana is not expensive. There are people who use five CDs for food per day. There are people who use 10 CDs for food per day. There are people who use six CDs. And I mean, it's not everybody. So just know how to budget. Just know why you're here and just know the reason, the type of housing and all that, your bills, whatever. It's going to be much simpler and easier for you to live. It's going to be much cheaper if you set a budget for yourself. But if you go beyond your means, if you go beyond your living and you'd be like, oh, you know, I got to flex and stuff like that, then that's on you because you're going to spend more than what you think. Because if you want to be someone who use Uber all the time, Uber takes a lot of money. Now, fun fact, even your favorite influencers online here, even um, people who live in expensive places in Accra here, technically they take Chocho. They take Uber depending on maybe where they're going, their look, um, the event and whatever it is but to say every single day they will take an uber to go to and fro from work it depends if you live in a residential area you can take a chocho get to your police junction get down and then take a pick a taxi or take an uber that is understandable but to say they will take uber all the time that's not possible as if they have their own car or whatever so my point here is just know why you're here, budget, and everything's going to be easier for you. Another myth that um, I've been hearing on the internet and people saying is that Ghana is a poor country. Now, if you don't know, Ghana is a developing country. There are lots of places. There are lots of things to see. There are lots of places you might go and you might not even feel like you're in Africa and stuff like that. So Ghana is not poor. Ghana is Ghana economy is rising. It is improving. Their infrastructures are improving. Their government is improving. Whatever it is. So no, if you hear about Africa, I know you've heard a lot of things about Africa and be like, oh, Africans are poor. Africans are this. Africans are that. Da 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 da. As far as I know, I know that Ghana is better and Ghana is developing. They have stable electricity, they have running water, you know, like just the basic 
of everybody's need the government provides that which is pretty dope pretty awesome and yeah so Ghana is not poor there are a lot of things that Ghana have improved on and hopefully us other African countries can learn from Ghana so no 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 don't listen to anybody that tell you Ghana is poor Ghana is not poor Ghana is not super rich but Ghana is developing Okay, the next myth that I have actually heard online about Ghana is that Ghana is not safe. Well, that's not true. Ghana is like one of the most safest West African country. Everywhere you go, there is something called local crime that happens. Ghana is not exempted, but when it comes to safety, Ghana is safe. You can find people partying in the middle of the night as if nothing is going on Ghana night life is wild than the day life so in the daytime you see people like working and stuff you see people busy up here up there da, 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 da. and during the night you see people partying I for one um, I didn't know how night life used to be in Ghana until I started working so the school I teach, I kind of like um, take up night classes sometimes. And my first time, I was scared. I was like, are people going to be up at that time? Uh, I have never been out this late, you know, yada, yada, yada. And then I took up the job first night, second night, third night. I was like, are you serious? Because like cars are everywhere. Imagine someone can pick up someone from the airport at 2 a.m. without worrying about if someone's going to break into their house or anything like that. So, so no, don't believe that thing what they say Ghana is not safe. Ghana is safe. Very, very safe. One of the safest West African countries that ever exist. Or one of the safest African countries that ever exist. So, Another myth I'm going to address probably is going to be the last one because I guess this video is already long. The sun is so hot in Ghana that all Ghanaians are black. That is a terrible, terrible myth that people have been spreading out. Not everyone in Ghana is dark. And it's just so sad that people can come up with things like that. I've been in Ghana for so long. Have I turned dark? Nope. There are light-skinned people. There are people who are even way more brighter than I am. So, no. No. People are light. The sun doesn't affect anyone. It's up to you if you don't want to. There are people who are naturally dark, which are not affected by the sun. But there are people who are actually naturally black here. There are people who are light-skinned. There are people who are brighter than the light skin. So... And there are even white people here who haven't turned dark because of Ghana's sun. So no, the sun doesn't make people black here in Ghana or dark here in Ghana. So yeah. So technically that is it for this video. I might have left a couple of myths out. If I do, I might make a part two for this video. If I did not, then that's a free ride. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to leave in the comment section content ideas that you want to see and I will make that for you guys. So I love you guys. Stay true to yourself. Peace and I will see you in the next one. Bye.